The thunderstorms right now are in the southern portion of the Midlands, dealing with some heavier downpours further up to our north. And don't forget, that tornado watch goes until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. A severe thunderstorm warning has just been issued for portions of Aiken County. You see this cluster of storms making its way out of Augusta and into portions of the Midlands. This has not been severe warned. However, there are some very heavy downpours. Some of the rainfall rates in here are at about two inches an hour. Fairly dry around the southeast. Let's go take a little bit of a trip out to our east right now. There it is. Invest 91 L. Winds are still at 30 miles an hour, so we are waking up to some clouds. A little bit of some light shower activity. But as this low crosses the region, it is going to bring us the chance of a thunderstorm or two. What you're seeing behind me is the, the testing. There's embers that are flying onto this deck right now. The heaviest of the rain continues to move off to the east, but that flash flood warning will continue until 915 for Richland County. Tropical cyclone, hurricane, mid-latitude cyclone, an area of low pressure. Those all spin counterclockwise. So that is considered oh, okay. so it's cyclonic flow so cyclonic is counterclockwise and that would typically mean gloomy weather it's rainy let's go take a look at the tropics quickly there is tropical storm kate winds have picked up a little bit to 60 miles an hour but because we have that front off the coast it's going to be moving east it's going to send kate off to sea we're still under the influence of high pressure so our sky will stay clear today but look at all the cloud coverage forming across the plains we've got some rain developing as well all ahead of our next front. A look at the computer models or the spaghetti plots, we call them. These are all still in agreement that they're heading toward South Carolina. Puppy picks <laughs> for the Carolina Panthers. So once again, we're going to do the Panthers and the Pink Bowl. Mm -hmm. And they're, she's, she's like, can you please pet me? What are you doing? <laughs> and we're going to do At Atlanta because they're playing the Falcons again in the Yellow Bowl. We've so got a really strong thunderstorm that's actually developed down in Orangeburg County right now. You guys see all of that lightning? There's about 300 strikes of lightning within that cluster of storms. Time to check in with our meteorologist, yep. Lauren Oleski, for your out the door forecast. And Lauren, it is U G L Y. It is. <laughs> the weather ain't got no alibi. <laughs> it's ugly <laughs> outside right now. But high pressure hanging out around the region will help to keep our sky clear. We'll see that front pass through a little bit of a back door front, if you will, bringing in some cooler air for the weekend. That's going to allow for a really nice breeze, maybe to kind of help offset the fact that it's going to be so warm out there today. Three quarters of a mile in Aiken. Again, give yourself some extra time. That dense fog advisory goes until 10 o'clock for Kershaw, Richland, Calhoun, Orangeburg, Clarendon, Sumter, and Lee counties. And we're going to see lots of sun today. So this is your fifth, like a sun. Okay, here's your test. Second position. Okay, so first was popcorn, so second is beach ball. And third? Is hold the beach ball and the popcorn. And fourth? Then we lift up. And fifth. And then we make a sun. Bravo! Yes, I did it. Do I pass? We are under a wedge pattern for the day. We have a cold front that's further down to our south. High pressure up to our north has made its way east just a little bit. That sets up the wedge for us. We have very cold blue colored air back to the west and this green that we're seeing on the eastern portion of the United States. That's very mild air, so that's where the cold front is right now. High pressures beginning to follow in behind it. We'll see it settle in across the region through the day tomorrow and Sunday. Right now, the heaviest of our activity is continuing to move off in that northeast direction. A couple thunderstorms out there. We've got this front hanging out off the coast, helping to pump all that moisture in. Another little cold front just out to our west. This guy is going to be moving east off the coast. It'll take the rain with it. This cold front will dissipate and then that high pressure will settle in. There's a little chance of a shower or two today. I'm not really expecting a whole lot of rain until tonight. Good morning, everyone. We are clear once again for our Wednesday. Lots of sunshine to go around. Temperatures are above average, but overall, it's a very nice day. Today and tomorrow will be in the 60s. Once that wedge breaks down, we're heading back to the mid 70s. <laughs> A rainy Thursday across the Midlands for us. Rainfall continues out on the northern portion of the Midlands. See this blue box? Well, that aerial flood advisory is still in effect. It goes until 1045 this morning for Newberry and Saluda counties. Could be dealing with some minor flooding, especially in those low-lying areas. Fairly dry out on the eastern side of South Carolina, but that will change throughout the rest of our day. More rain is going to continue across the region. We are under a wedge pattern for the day. We have a cold front that's further down to our south. High pressure up to our north has made its way east just a little bit. That sets up the wedge for us, pulls in winds out of the northeast, and brings in the cooler temperatures, dropping us to below average. In fact, by about 10 degrees for the afternoon today. 73 out in Lexington, 74 for Columbia, 74 as well out in Manning, 76 in Orangeburg later today. 
probably hitting right about 70 in Winsboro, 71 in Newberry. The average right now is about 84 degrees. So just make sure you have the umbrella handy for the day. Lots and lots of rainfall making their making its way through. 5 o'clock this afternoon, still soggy for that drive home. The cloud deck will stick around for the rest of the day as well. Heading into the overnight hours and very early tomorrow morning, still cloudy. That wedge will still be in place. It brings us that really low cloud deck. Closer to tomorrow evening and as we get closer to Saturday, a line of thunderstorms passing through the state as that cold front starts to make its way across South Carolina. So basically keep the umbrella handy for the next few days. Below average today and tomorrow a little bit warmer for the day Saturday. A few thunderstorms are possible with that front as well. A little cooler again for the day Sunday. We will finally see more sunshine as we make our way back into the beginning of the upcoming work week.